letters, the R and the A in your hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kindle, 33 years of yeah. this. How does that happen? What's the key to the longevity of that? Wow, wow. You know, I think it's the cause is, is the reason why. Uh, 33 years of, uh, you know, giving back to kids that really need it. Um, that's why you you have all of the golfers that have been here for 33 years. You know, you got a lot of guys that have been here every year. A lot of guys that have been here 15, 20 years. So it's all about the call, you know, and, and I, that's the reason why it lasts so long, you know, 33. And I, I think it will continue to, to improve each and every year uh, because, you know, we're, we're doing something that's needed. Kevin, what do you know about the upcoming team for coach of this year? What kind of team are they going to have? Yeah. How much you've gotten in? I, I know that we're going to be athletic. I know that we're going to be experienced. I know that we're going to be strong-willed. Uh, you know, in Chicago, everybody talks, you know, because I'm, I'm in the basketball scene. My son plays, of course, but I'm in the basketball scene up there. So everybody was really impressed about how we replenished uh, the team this year with, with some transfers, with, with recruiting and everything. So, you know, I, I, I expect us to be right in the thick of everything. Uh, next year. I mean, I know the conference is expanding. Now with UCLA and USC coming in over the next two years. Um, but it's the best competition in the country. I think that's why everybody wants to join the Big Ten. You know, I, I, I never would have thought that two Pac-10 teams out on the West Coast would want to join the Big Ten and come to the Midwest. You know, but uh, that shows you the power of, of the Big Ten in our conference and, you know, the, the talent level here. So and, and that's why I'm proud to be a part of, of Illinois because, you know, it, it's part of, of some of the best basketball institutions in the country. What's some of the guidance you're giving your son to go for the recruiting process? Sign with, with Illinois. <laughs> that's the guidance I'm giving. But, so I tell him, listen, he's, he's just going into his sophomore year. We, we're very appreciative of, of the offer that, that he got uh, from Illinois. Uh, and I told him that, you know, you didn't get this because of me. You got this because of your talent, your talent going to it. Um, he's very talented. He's big. He's just going into the South Moyne, 6'2". Um, and, you know, he's hungry to improve. Uh, so, you know, I know this is at the beginning of the process, and it's going to be a lot more interesting, but I, I believe that, you know, Hopefully, I'm keeping my fingers crossed when it's all said and done. You know, and it's not my decision, it's his. But when it's all said and done, I'm, I'm hoping that he can miss it. What do you tell him about? Sorry, what do you tell him about? He could be making money playing college basketball, not only NIL, but four Well, practice hard. That's, right. That's what I tell him. You know, listen. College basketball, is, it really was already a business, but now it's become more of a business for the student athletes. And, you know, if you play your cards right, um, then you can make a great deal of money as a, as a, co as a college athlete. And we have, we have talked about that, you know, and, and he is interested in it. And so, you know, but first and foremost, you know, we, we're not going to college just to play basketball. We're going for the education as well. Um, his grandparents are retired school teachers. Uh, his mom went to Northwestern, unfortunately, and the University of Chicago, she got a master's there, so education is very important in our household, too, you know, and a degree from this university uh, would be great for, for our, not just our one son, but both of our sons, if they happen uh, to choose uh, this university. So, you know, we talk about that, too, not just in our, uh, we talk about everything. So, you know, hopefully, you know, and I'm having fun in the process, you know, I, I've, I've never thought that I would be in this position, but uh, here I am, and it's, you know, it's great. What did, it mean to you? Sorry. what did it mean to you, and what was your reaction when you heard about that offer coming in? Well, I, I'll tell you what, we were, we were driving to a tournament, and I got the call from his coach that Illinois wanted to, to offer my son, and I was, you know, I was like, wow, and I looked back and I smiled at him, he didn't know what I was smiling at, and, uh, you know, I talked to the coach a little bit. And then when I got off the phone, I said, hey, listen, man, you got your first offer. And he was like, where? I was like, Illinois. And he just, you know, with a smile on his face, I'll never forget. You know, because ever since he's been a little boy, 
Oh, he's been in Illinois again. You know, watches all the games. He doesn't say Illinois. He says we. You know, when he's talking about Illinois basketball. So I'm just hoping that he continues to say we over the next two or three years. <laughs> yeah. Kendall, obviously Chicago, the, the, the conversation's dominated by pro sports, but when Illinois is kind of getting back to this level, what is the vibe or the feeling in the city when that starts to happen again? Well, you know, I, I think with Io having an All-American collegiate uh, career here, I think with Io coming back to the Chicago Bulls and playing the way that he did last season, um, I think with the way that the coaches now are respecting Illinois again, the high school coaches are respecting Illinois again, the Illinois name is starting to carry a lot the weight that it used to back when Jimmy Collins was the recruiter, Lou Henson came in, Dick Nagy. Uh, you know, for a while there, not too many guys, hot, top high school players in the Chicago area would even really consider us. Now we're being considered, you know, because now that you're starting to see us back in the NCAA tournament, you're starting to see us back in the pros. You're starting to see, well, you're now seeing the state tournament being back at the State Farm Sim Sim uh, Center or Assembly Hall. Uh, so that lets you know right there that now the reputation of Illinois is starting to be that beacon on the hill, so to speak, again. You know, and, and that's what, something that I'm so proud of because, you know, I, I got into so many conversations. And I, I remember uh, maybe seven, eight years ago, I'm listening to the radio, uh, Waddle and Sylvie show up in, up in Chicago, and they were discussing whether we were a mid-major, you know, and, and it really, it really ticked me off, but, you know, at the time, we weren't at the level that we uh, should have been at, but now I think that we returned to that level. You can't, I don't hear any more radio shows talking about us as a mid-major, so, yeah, so I mean, we're, we're, we're back. Now all we need to do is just continue to grow, continue to recruit hard, which, which Coach Underwood and Tim Anderson are doing. And, uh, you know, we're, I, I anticipate that we'll return back to the glory days where all of the top players consider Illinois first, you know, in the Chicago land. What's your relationship with Io? I mean, how well do you guys know one another? Actually, Io's aunt and uncle live right next door to me. I had no idea that they were his his um, aunt and uncle until one day I saw him. Over you know, and I'm like, what is he, what is he, what is he doing? Like, did somebody tell him to come talk to me or something? <laughs> you know, but he's walking in the gate, and I'm like, hey, what, what are you doing? This is my aunt and uncle visit. I'm like, oh, I didn't know. I said they never told me. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, it's it, it's pretty cool. You know, I, I always, I think he did a remarkable job last year. He got second team all rookie, uh, filled in admirably. For the veterans that were hurt, but here's the thing, you know, because he was drafted in the second round, he's on a two-year deal. He's worth, he's going to be worth a lot of money after this year. I'm hoping that we can keep him, you know, because you know he's going to be valuable. I mean, he's six foot five, long range, he can play, and is a big point guard. You know, he's a premium in the NBA. So, and I'm happy for him. On the Bulls. Uh, Dale and Terry gets drafted, uh, Levine gets retained. Uh, anything else you'd like to see them do yet? Well, one more thing, and that would be to acquire a shooter. Um, I think we need one of those guys. A guy that, can, that can just hit spot up jump shots. We have Slashers, which is Zach Levine, uh, Monzo Ball. We have guys that go mid range, DeMar DeRozan. Um, I thought I, I love the addition of Andre Drummond. Um, Io, of course, is coming back once again. I know that he's working on his, his game. Uh, the acquisition of Terry. Now, I have to be honest. I don't know too much about Terry. You know, him being in Arizona and everything. I got to do my homework on him. But I trust this front office. You know, they have done a wonderful job of putting together uh, the talent necessary to compete. Um, and, and what they believe in, they believe in keeping their core guys together for four or five years at least to see what they have. And, and that's the most important thing. I've always believed in that. You know, when, whenever you're putting any type of team together, college, high school, college, pro, you got to keep your core guys together for at least three to four years to see really what they have. And that's what the Bulls have done. What's needed from an NBA center is very different than it used to be. Can Kofi get on the roster? 
I'm hoping that he can. Uh, of course, the, the NBA has has changed. You know, you got seven footers now specializing in shooting three point shots. You know, what you have to do if you have Kofi style, you have to be dominant in the post at all times. You have to block shots and you have to rebound. If he can do that, yes, he can. He can find a spot in the NBA. Uh, but he has to work on those things. You know, I'm pulling for him. I mean, I know Coach is going out. Uh, there tonight to watch him play uh, at 7 o'clock with the Utah Jazz. But, uh, you know, hopefully he'll do the things that I just talked about and he can stick. All right.